If you see my video on the Shurcom S33 HT Power SWR meter, we learned and discovered in that video that the Diamond SRH77CA, the Nagoya NA771, the Kama SMA24 antennas, all were giving us a weird SWR reading. None of them were really low. The only one that was actually low was this TYT THUV88 antenna on top that meter gave us a 1.1, 1.2 I think it was SWR. This diamond antenna was 5 to 1. The Comet was 4 to 1. Nagoya was 3.5 to 1. It was better <laughs> than the more expensive brands. You know the problem of that is is that your HT antennas, high gain antenna is not as great as what you think it is. Yeah, you can spend the extra bucks forty dollars some cases on an extra high gain antenna but is it really all that better no it's not the problem is when you try to measure the SWR with that meter involved that you're basically moving the image plane the ground plane above the radio a lot of these radios no longer have a metal strip a battery pack that goes directly to the chassis so you don't get a capacitive ground capacitive reactants memory inductive reactants, all that stuff with the loading coils, everything else, it all changes. You basically have an image plane, if I have this correct, that changes the SWR. Okay, how I have this radio mounted on my chest in the chest pack affects the SWR. If I hold the radio in my hand over my head, that's going to affect the SWR. If I put the antenna and the radio up to my head, up to my mouth and speak, that's going to affect the SWR. A lot of the problems with these newer radios are all plastic bodies. There's no actual metal connection where your hand can get onto the radio and create a capacitive ground. That's why a lot of the old radios had a metal case or like a metal belt loop or metal tab striped down the side where you could actually get a purchase on it and then you helped affect that ground image. So what I did is I wasn't happy with the 5 to 1 SWR. I called Diamond Antennas. I complained about it. They sent me over to their technician, Jerry, who told me that they check most random tests of batches of antennas that are made in China, <laughs> even though they're made with their names. And the Nagoya NA771, he told me, is a direct copycat, I won't focus, I think we're too close, of the Diamond SRH SRJ77CA antennas. They back engineered their antenna with their label on it. So, you know, so that leads us to another part of this video. You know, should you buy a diamond or should you just buy a Nagoya? You know, are you supporting an American company or are you really supporting a Chinese company? Hate to be political in that sense, but... Anyways, he told me most antennas are manufactured with an SWR of 1.5 to 4 to 1. And I question him, why 4 to 1? Where is 1.5? Where is 4 to 1? And he couldn't give me a definitive answer. I'm not trying to put Jerry on the spot. He probably knows more than, or forgot more than I'll ever know. But he was also telling me that, you know, again, if you carry the radio against your body, it's going to change your SWR over your head, hold it way above your head. And when they build antennas for government agencies, they ask the individual user of that radio, how are they going to use that antenna? Is it going to be on their side? Are they going to hold it up to their mouth? going to hold it over the head and they tune the antenna appropriately so so your big fancy high gain antenna <laughs> you expect to have a very low SWR that you paid money for may not be as perfect as you thought anyways guys please like share subscribe don't forget that the bell notification for future videos support us on patreon.com use our Amazon link below for any and all purchases, and if you're going to buy any amateur radio products off BridgeCom, please use our BridgeCom affiliate link. All those methods help support this channel so we can keep buying different products and giving you information of videos. 7-3, which means best regards. Be safe.